the class of microwave core so today we are going to discuss about the microwave system installation so in this we will discuss about the steps to install the microwave system communication system so now let's discuss about this step so the step taken prior the installation of microwave systems are thus the first of all we have to discuss about the available space so we have to uh, uh, have a design guideline where we have to in, inst we have where we have to note about the available space for the installation of the tower then we have to give the fine tuning measurement the tuning that we have to done for the transmitter and receiver antennas then we have to get the rough idea for the orientation of antenna that we have to orient in horizontal orientation on in vertical orientation then we have to discuss about the presence of clear line of sight so there must be a clear line of sight between transmitter and receiver antenna then the find perfect location for strut deployment so for uh, deploying the strut or to uh, to tie the strut with the antenna we have to find the perfect location for that so then we have to find the strut vendor specific tolerance so then we have also have to note about the strut tolerance value so if the strut tolerance value we install the struts above the tolerance value then it will it may may break if uh, if antenna will have a higher load than earlier so no turns or bands must be there in the coaxial cable or the waveguide to give it a flexibility then alliance for potential movement during the alignment process so these are the steps that we have to take compare or the installation of microwave communication system the next the first of all we have to discuss about the assembly and lifting of antenna means to installation of antenna and lifting of antenna to a particular height so first challenge here is the tower mounting so tv uh, uh, means we have to install the tower at per that specific location if we have to install the tower at a height that is at a rooftop then we have to take all the material to the rooftop so that is the first challenge then unpacking and assembling a microwave antenna then you have to unpack because these microwave antennas are uh, are come are shipped with a fully packed so we have to unpack it and assemble the microwave antenna that, to that height then we have to read the manufacturer instruction that are given over to the microwave antenna before installing or before insta assembling to it then we have to discuss about the lifting point so non lifting and non specified lifting point will damage the antenna so we have to use the proper lifting point to uh, to take the antenna to a particular height then we have to install the side strut to give the greater uh, support to that particular antenna that we install over to the height then is connecting transmission line N second step is to install the transmission line so here we have to install transmission line without kinking or damage damaging it so then we have to read the specification regarding allowable twist de degree per foot or meter of the length to waveguide and feeder cable so here we have to read the specification of the cables or the waveguide that we are going to use with this uh, within this transmission line process so after making connection we have to test the vsr vswr that is uh, voltage standing wave ratio and return loss so return loss testing is the measuring the amount of of signal reflection along an RF path such as cable or a waveguide. So higher return loss means reduction in signal strength and it will indicate it will possibly damage the RF media. Then we have to install all the electrical grounding connection. It means we have to ground all the electrical connection that we have given to this particular antenna then the next step is the alignment so alignment of two antenna properly is done by analyzing it means the transmission and receiving antenna must be installed properly so size and frequency parameter of the antenna must be noted before installing that we have to discuss about the distance between the two antennas and we ha also have to discuss uh, learn about the clear LOS that is clear line of sight path between the endpoint and then proper calculation of signal strength to confirm the alignment so troubleshoot the system and provide the final tuning is the last step in the alignment process so technician use the map compass and GPS data to align the antenna
the last part is the final step so in final step after antenna alignment completed you have to properly uh, calibrate the torque wrench to fully tighten all the adjusted hardware to the torque value that is specified by the manufacturer instruction then you have to pressure, uh, pressurize the elliptical waveguide and the antenna feed system as soon as possible before it is uh, captured by the uh, moisture present in the air then you have to finally complete the commissioning document and keep the site secure and tidy by removing all the rubbish and packaging material so this is the last final step in the microwave communicate uh, in microwave installation so this is all about microwave installation in microwave course thank you